we're gonna do a little bit of an experiment this morning. Um, just enrolled a bale. Um, usually the, this herd gets two bales per day. Um, right at the moment, I've only got one bale unrolled. And I'm gonna come back up in a few hours and just see how well they've ate this hay. Did they use it for bedding or did they eat the majority of it? So it ought to be a rather interesting experiment. And I think having the snow on the ground is going to make it really easy to see exactly how much hay is left. So this ought to be a really, really cool experiment. Um, this is part of the reason that I am only rolling one bale right this moment. Um, I think if I unroll two bales, the herd's going to disperse out on the two different places. And we might not get the results that we're wanting to see. So, as this first test, we're going to do one bale. Maybe here in a couple days, we'll go ahead and unroll both bales and just see how it works. The one thing good about this, unrolling the hay that I really, really like, versus using a feeder, let me get over here to the end, or closer to the end, and I'll show you one of the things I like about this. Now, if you're familiar with using a feeder, um, you probably already know you can get about 14 head around that feeder and that's it. So if you've got more head than that, you need an additional feeder. Here's what I like about the bale grazing. Besides what it does for the soil, look. Look how many places there is to eat. There is no pushing, there is no shoving. Everybody's just content with the area they got. Now, down here, this is the direction I rolled it, and there was somewhat of a bale left, about a foot in diameter. When they get that small, they're rather contrary to unroll, so I just leave that little bit of a round. It's kind of funny because some cattle prefer to eat from the round versus the ground. Um, when the cattle are in here, and I'm unrolling a bale, um, this time they were in the next pasture over, I unrolled it and moved them in. But if they were in here while I was unrolling, there's several of them. Red, my steer, uh, a few other ones down through here. Uh, my bottle calf, Casey. Um, they like to be right up there helping me unroll. And at times, it's fun. It's kind of exciting to watch the cattle as they... Uh, unroll the bale but sometimes it gets to be where it's kind of a pain and if they just get out of your way you'd be able to do it a little faster uh, we'll see it's about 8 15 in the morning um we'll come back this afternoon and see how this looks it's two o'clock in the afternoon and i have returned and rolled out the second bale you can see what they left from the first bale, right beside where they are eating. So if we walk down through here and take a look, you can see that for the majority of this area, or this run, they ate, what, 85, 90%? I mean, there's very, very little left here, except for a few piles where somebody's defecated now it starts to get a little thicker down through here and I'm going to tell you what's happened right here if you've ever run hand hand rolled a bale um, there there comes certain parts in some bales that just catch and the roll goes on around so I take my hay hook here make a scratch all the way across and let a new lap flap to the ground so when I did that right here in this area we actually got a double layer of hay. So you can see that they've ate the majority knowing that there was two layers there. What you're looking at over here, that's one layer. It, that bale unrolled very, very nice. This one here had issues when it got here. So that's why it's a little thicker here. Not that I'll make any excuses. I just remember um, having this issue a little bit ago. Hey there, Splat. How you doing, buddy? Very curious about Farmer Jason, aren't you? Yes. He's a very curious young man. 
Who is this farmer, Jason? What does he want from us? You're a good little boy. How you doing, buddy? Can I pet you on the head? Yeah, him's a good little boy. Him a good little bull calf. I hate to say it, but I've been around enough calves this year that I've seen these new calves go up behind Mama and get pooped on. And uh, it's kind of what his marking reminds me of. That's why I call him Splat. But anyway, back on topic here. Then you can see that they started to graze it or eat the majority of the hay again. This little calf here was born on the same day as Splat. Down here I had some issues where I had to take my hay hook across and cut a new line for another flap to drop down and unroll. And then down here it gets really thick and I've learned something from that and I'm going to go fix it over in that section in just a second. This is the area I told you I still had a small roll of hay and I just stopped and left it there and I explained a little bit about eating off the round versus the ground. Well, that's what I mean. That's what I'm calling the round, what little bit's left. Well, you can see by not spreading it out like I did here, they resorted to bedding on it after they got their tummies full. So what I want to do now to fix this issue or to try to fix this issue, and I'll be able to tell in the morning if it worked, is try and stretch this hay out and not leave such a big clump here. The problem is, is it gets down to about this size and it just gets very, very awkward to unroll. So I got away the time I invest in trying to roll it and what hay is left. So yeah, that could be uh, pretty costly over a period of time. So today what I'm gonna do is invest a little bit more time in rolling this bale. Maybe try to get it up, you know, another 10 or 20 feet just to stretch it out a little bit more. And uh, in the morning, we'll see what the results are. It's 8 o'clock now the following morning. It's been 24 hours. Got two bales enrolled. And mainly this morning what I wanted to show is what was left after I extended rolling. What was left there where the bowl is last night. So you can see. It's not too awful bad. There's a lot of manure mixed in there. Um... The hay is not nearly as thick as it is right there in that area where all those cows are standing. Now we back up here where the roll had unstopped last night where the bull's laying. It's a little bit thicker. Um, for obvious reasons I'm not going to step over there and show you how thick it is. But you can see there is a little bit more left. And it actually looks like that if we compare this whole run of hay there's more left here. Oh, look here. It's Bob's mom cleaning up some hay. Good girl. There is a lot more left over here on this side, on the one I fed in the afternoon, versus what's over here on this side. So it's a pretty interesting comparison. And, um,. Right off hand, I guess I would have to assume that this bale over here pretty much filled their bellies. Over here, they just picked at it a little bit and turned it into bedding. So, this is just kind of the result um, of what happens when you bale graze. And now I've got to work to make this a little bit better result. So, we'll see what I can do over the next couple weeks. And hopefully I'll be able to share another video on what I'm able to do to make it so that all of the area where they bell graze looks like this versus this. So if you like this video and you find it informative, please go ahead and throw it a big thumbs up. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And make sure you click on the little bell so that you get notified when I release new videos. Thanks for watching Grazy Acres Farm.